Good morning, guys. I am up. One of the first things I like to do in the morning is I like to read my devotional book here. This is um Wisdom Above All, Daily Encouragement from the Proverbs from Charles F. Stanley. Like I said, this is this is a devotional book. It's pretty inspiring to me. There's some very good material in here as far as like things in which you would um, think about throughout the day. Like I said, a lot of knowledge and a lot of wisdom. Like for instance, yesterday was about um, managing money. You know, being a good steward with all of the um, the blessings in which the Lord gives you. Um, a lot of people would be off so much better if they would just be smart with their money. You know, and not just blow it just because they have it. Especially this time of the year, ladies and gentlemen. Since you're all getting those big old checks on your returns, you know, be smart with it, okay? Um, today's devotional, this is the 24th, is trusting in God's power, okay? And I'm not going to go and read the entire devotional. I mean, this is just what I like to do in my spare time. Well, not my spare time, but every time I wake up in the morning, this is pretty much how I start my day. Um, you know, some people, they like to drink coffee and whatnot but me I, first thing I wake up is I read this or yeah, before that my good old Bible here you know I would put time in for that and if I don't do this early in the morning I read this later on throughout the day or I'll just listen to the audio version of the Bible on my phone okay so I'm gonna go ahead and read my devotional get my clothes on and I'm gonna go get ready to do my fasted cardio this morning so I'll See you guys when I get in the car. Rise and shine. Sun is like um blinding mode. I don't have any sunglasses. Every time I get a pair of sunglasses, I freaking lose them or either they end up breaking. Today marks 16 weeks out to my show. July the 14th still got a good ways to go still got work to do there's always work to do never let your foot off the gas especially when you have a goal like this you know competitiveness competitive bodybuilding um, at a professional level it's definitely not a cakewalk there's money on the line and I expect people to just bring it so I have to bring it and that means I'm starting to do things a lot earlier than I usually do. Usually around this time, I'm so lenient. I'm still having cheat meals here and there or going out to eat a couple of times a week. Um, I've cut that out completely because I don't want to take any chances. Now, yesterday, one of my clients, she's so sweet. She brought me a Chick-fil-A um, breakfast biscuit. I think they were giving them out at grandparents day or something she went to um her daughter's school and they gave her a biscuit so she brought me one too you see she's in contest prep as well she's got 14 weeks she's 14 weeks out until she makes no this isn't her pro debut it'll be her second pro show as a bikini competitor so that should be fun we're going out to Fort Walton Beach which is about an hour away from where I live and I can't wait to see what she does. It's our first time working together. You know, she requested to train with me, do our diet, and put some lean muscle on her frame. You know, girls need to gain muscle too. <laughs> but, you know, just not just focusing on me. There are other people, other individuals I have to get my attention to as well because this is the contest season and it's busy. You know, it's not just about me. You got to remember, ladies and gentlemen, just because you compete doesn't mean that the world revolves around you. There are other people in which, you know, may have the same desires as you do and who may seek out your services. So you have to remember to put those people as a top priority. I've seen trainers let go of clients or potential clients just to focus on their own prep 
Now, yes, your prep is important, but don't ever put it, you know, above your means of income. Come on. Come on, especially if you're an amateur. You're not making any money. Okay, so think about that for a second. Rise up. Your prep is important, but putting food in your in your stomach and on the table is more important than your prep. Okay? So let's let's wise up with the choices that we make. Okay? So um you know, I'm gonna just put that out there. Now I made a little bit of a dilemma because I don't know which gym I'm going to. Both memberships in which I have, the gyms are literally, literally across the street from one another. The only difference between one and the other, one is smaller, the other one's larger. The smaller, both of them have exactly what I need as far as like cardio, but not equipment. Like, um, you know, for lifting. The advantage of going to the gym that's smaller is I don't have to fight a crowd. I don't have to worry about anybody bothering me. And I don't have to walk across a big gym just to get to where I need to be. But the flip side is if I go in there and what I want is taken, I have to wait. Versus the bigger gym that has multiple Stairmasters and a whole bunch of treadmills. So I don't know which gym I'm going to. But it's early, so that's a good thing. I know people are lazy on Saturdays. They don't want to get up. So I think I'm gonna to go to the big gym just to do that and um, do some people watching. <laughs> that's always fun too. Now you know usually I record my workouts, but this isn't a workout. And I know everybody doesn't want to watch me do cardio. So I'm not gonna take the camera inside. But I wanted to share a little something with y'all. These headphones here, or earbuds, whatever you want to call them, Bluetooth, wireless. They are by Hussar, H-U-S-S-A-R. Hussar, a.k.a. Magic Buds. Now, one of my older clients put me onto these because he has a pair of the Beats by Dre. And if you notice, they look exactly like the Beats by Dre earbuds and I was on the fence because I wanted some my Bluetooth headphones and he told me about these I found these on Amazon for 25 bucks they sound exactly like the Beats by Dre exactly um maybe the Beats by Dre may have a little bit more knock in them but for me I don't really care for knock I just care about quality and how it sounds because there are some headphones that just sound like pure trash but not these these are awesome so if you're looking for a pair of Bluetooth headphones and you don't exactly want to pay all of the money for the Beats by Dre which are like a hundred bucks for these right here you know I'm um, buying them new um, look up for sorry H U S S A R on Amazon and buy a couple of pair trust me you will love them all right let me get in here and do my cardio and um I'll hold with you guys when I get ready to eat my breakfast up here watching some Netflix it's a little Japanese I mean Korean drama called Missing Kiss it's pretty funny um, it's subtitles some people then like to really read when they watch TV or whatever but I don't mind but if you can stomach reading I think you'll pretty much get the humor pretty quick <laughs> it's like a high school drama and I can honestly say in a lot of these dramas they make the Asian girls look so desperate and they make like the guys so nonchalant like they don't like girls which is kind of scary <laughs> alright so here's what I'm having for breakfast if you're wondering what it is keep wondering <laughs> nah you don't have to wonder guys this is what I've been eating lately my little staple my little go-to meal this is a low carb dish this is actually um, five, let me show you, five ounces of chicken, 5.6 ounces of chicken, some, um, chili, like low-fat chili, 
and mozzarella cheese with some jalapenos up in there and I'm gonna complement this with some white cheddar popcorn seasoning I've been eating this for years when I'm on a diet you get a lot to you know really get this the um, taste and of course my hot sauce water and um, creatine is in there too okay but I'm gonna let this talk to you guys for a little bit just basically about you know the direction of my channel now I've made several channel updates um, in the past you know because when you create a YouTube channel guys a lot of times it's not gonna stay the same in which it originally was created you may have one idea that you want to do you may have another idea that you want to do it's just constantly evolving and I always feel like you should make your channel to where it's going to get the most attention while at the same time still enjoying what it is you like to do okay I'm in the middle of like I said not changing exactly where I am right now but putting out more content that I feel like is going to get more attention okay like one of the last videos that I made the Kevin Lavroni versus um the, the 2018 versus the 1998 that video got so many views in such a short period of time and it really it really woke me up and even one person commented and said you know man if you keep making content like this your channel is going to blow up so I, I thought about it I'm like you know what I can actually make content like that but still keep it interesting and still continuously do what I want to do in the process so that's what I'm going to do um, FYI just in case it happens and you don't know about it I'm thinking about changing the name of the channel. Um, I've changed the name of this channel so many times. I'm so sorry, guys. But I, I'm, I was always taught that if you're going to do something, you know, it's wise to, on all your social media platforms, make all of the names the same. Like, your Instagram should be the same as your YouTube. Your YouTube should be the same as your Twitter. I'm about to start utilizing Twitch. I talked with somebody a couple of days ago about that. Um, I'm about to join this community called Positively Gamers. Um, it's all about streaming, all about gaming. Um, I'm just trying to put together some sort of a, a vision as far as how I want to go about my streaming. And that might sound silly to some people, but let me tell you something. There's a lot of successful Twitch um, enthusiasts out there who make pretty a pretty decent living and I'm not saying I'm doing it for money but I'm doing it because I love playing video games so um, if you see the channel change as far as names you'll know why I'm thinking about going with initial D um, initial D is my Instagram by the way if you're not following me um, be sure to do so I'll show you guys that right now um, I created this account um, the beginning of last week So if you are on Instagram, be sure to follow me at initial with two L's underscore D underscore. Again, I just created this account earlier this week. Um, if you want to keep up with me, you're more than likely to keep up with me better here than or here on YouTube. I didn't have I don't have a lot of posts up. I only posted a few things here and there, but check me out follow me and if you're a subscriber I will follow you back okay so let me go ahead and eat because I am hungry it's my first meal of the day and I'll see you guys a little bit later on in the day so take a look at this bag guys it's an old gym bag I got it from an old gym that I used to work at you know they gave all the employees gym bags and it's about time for this to um to go to the graveyard Graveyard. I'm gonna buy me a new gym bag. Um, I am really big procrastinator when it comes to buying stuff because I try to justify my purchases. Like, do you really need that? Are you really going to use that? Is that really gonna benefit you? 
that's just the type of person I am. And because I've had that kind of mentality, I've been able to become a pretty good um, saver. I'm pretty good with finances. You know, I don't like materialistic possessions. I don't really have a problem with putting away for a rainy day. And to be quite frank, there isn't really much that I want these days. I mean, there are some things that I do want that are going to be pretty hefty in price. But I think by me being able to save money and only spending money when I really, 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 really feel like I need to, um, I think it'll put me in a pretty good position for when those major pur purchases need to come about. Okay, so, you know, guys, girls, you need to be smart with your money. Be smart with your money. You don't need every pair of Jordans that come out. Okay, you don't need the latest iPhone that's come out. In fact, while we're on the subject, my iPhone is a 6S. So I never got a 7, I never got an 8. And I never got a 10X. Was it no 10X? iPhone X. Never got an iPhone X because it's the same thing. It's the same phone. Don't be fooled. Now I've handled all of those different iPhones, and they don't seem to be any different than what I already have. Okay, and my phone is fine. It's not slow. I've taken really good care of it. There are no cracks in it, no scratches, nothing. The phone practically looks brand new. And I could sell it for close to retail if I wanted to, but I'm not going to because I'm going to just keep it so I don't have to venture out and pretend like I need another phone and end up paying 30 bucks a month like everybody else for the newest iPhone. So I'm going to be smart. And I told my wife the same thing, you know. She has a 6S Plus. So she don't need another phone. So, you know, be smart with your money, man. I think a lot of us would um would be in a lot better positions if we were better with our money. I was actually reading in my devotional yesterday. I mean, I think I brought this up this morning about being a good steward with the money in which you have. Okay? When you get paid, don't go out immediately go sh and, and go shopping. You don't have to do that. When you get money, you don't have to spend it ASAP, okay? So just remember, be a good steward with your money, be smart with your money, and make purchases in which you really, really feel like is going to benefit you. Just don't buy stuff just to buy stuff. I've bought stuff just to buy stuff, and I regret it to this day, okay? So, but... Those are mistakes that I made when I was young. Maybe a couple present, but not many. All right, so let me pump this gas and I'm gonna head over to the gym. I really didn't plan on working out today because I'm going out with the family and I didn't really wanna be like too beat up and too drained, but I'm gonna train some arms, shoulders. Um, usually Saturday is my hamstring day, but I'm always wiped out after I train hamstrings, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that for tomorrow. Do some arms because it's not really, you know, that taxing on the body. It doesn't require that much energy, and I just feel like I need to do something. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm gonna try to get some footage when I get up in this gym. See y'all soon.
was a nice quick little session and a couple of kids up in there I don't know what the heck they're doing all over the place look everybody that goes to the gym doesn't exactly know what they're doing just because you go to the gym doesn't mean you know how to train I've seen a lot of lost looking faces and going from this station to that station way too much conversating and all that other bull crap man just get out of the way of the folks that's really trying to accomplish things now i'm not saying that folks don't have a place in the gym but get out the way really especially me trying to film it's bad enough as it is i don't film enough in the gym but the one day i choose to work on um, record all of my training got folks all in the way and standing over here standing over there looking at this looking at what you're doing just trying to be nosy i'm like dude if you really want to be in the video just say so okay that way i can just get you in and we can handle our business man but yeah i um that felt pretty darn good i felt really good i um i usually do about two to three exercises for the bicep and the tricep and then I did some traps too um, usually I don't train my traps because my traps are a strong point and I just don't really feel a need to do so but since we're in contest season and I am making the pro debut um, I don't want to leave nothing on the table if that means I have to make my traps look like freaking mountains on the side of my neck then so be it because you know, not to sound arrogant or cocky or anything like that, but I'm not trying to lose, okay? No one trains for second place. No one trains for third place. We all train for the same exact reasons. We want to win, okay? And I feel like if you put the work in in the gym, you put the work in on your diet, um, you shouldn't expect anything less in first place now you never know who's going to show up okay I can say that much but as long as you're focusing on you 100% of the time and you're covering your bases is that you really shouldn't have any regrets okay and I and that's the way I train I, I train to not have any regrets all right so I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty happy with where I'm at right now but you know, we got 16 weeks to make this happen. I'm gonna start doing some physique updates on the channel just to kind of give everybody a, a glimpse into the preparation for me in this um pro debut. But at the same time, remember guys, this channel is not just about fitness, it's not just about me training, you know. Um, it's about my faith, it's about um gaming. So I don't want to just make the entire channel about bodybuilding. Although bodybuilding is a very popular trending topic these days since everybody all of a sudden wants to start working out. Um, I'm sure that will help out the channel. So, But I'm about to go buy a gym bag out of Academy. I'm gonna see if I can take the camera in there if they'll let me. You know, people feel kind of funny when you start bringing cameras in and stuff. Just not a lot of personalities, especially in the city that I'm from. 